Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. Um, been researching this one for two days just to get some details and reach out to some parties to get some information or their take on it. And I'm referring to the machine gun arrest that happened down the road in Holyoke, Massachusetts, in which a man was, a 56 year old man was arrested with a plethora of weapons, uh, which is, he's got a little fight ahead of him. But I wanted to do this update because it directly involves the FRT-15, the Rare Breed Triggers FRT-15. And this, from everything I can see and tell, this is the first case in the country where somebody who is in possession of an FRT-15 trigger has been charged with possessing an unserialized machine gun. Uh, yes, this guy's name is Daniel Augusto, again from Holyoke, Massachusetts. And he was arrested Friday after an investigation that started in February. And uh, he had quite a bit of... He has, he has a little bit of a problem in front of him as far as charges. But the FRT-15, as we've detailed on this channel numerous times, is not a machine gun. Does not meet the definition of a machine gun. If you pull the trigger and, and hold it to the rear, it just doesn't keep firing. Uh, as somebody who has had the opportunity to shoot these when they first came out at different events around the country that I went to, it's not a machine gun. Uh, it, it is not a machine gun. However, I'm going to put this on the screen here, and this is the press release uh, from the U.S. Attorney's Office here in Massachusetts. Now, I'll tell you that the U.S. Attorney in Boston, her name is Rachel Rollins. She used to be the district attorney uh, for the Boston area, and she is about as anti-gun and woke as you can get. Uh, but here on the screen, this is the uh, the information that came out Friday afternoon. It says a Holyoke man was arrested after being indicted by a federal grand jury in Springfield in connection with illegally possessing numerous firearms, including unregistered machine guns, short-barreled rifles, and other weapons, as well as firearm silencers. Now, here in Massachusetts, we the state registers firearms. And you cannot have suppressors in this state. You can't have them. Now, the only people who can have them are like police departments and SOTs. Uh, that's it. That's uh, FFLs, Federal Licensed Firearms Dealer. That's it. In this state, you cannot protect your hearing at all. You'll be John Wick or you'll make your own video game like Hitman. Daniel Augusto, 56, was indicted on one count of unlawful possession of machine guns, six counts of unlawful possession of unregistered firearms, and one count of making false statements to federal agents and then he appeared uh, in court Friday afternoon. And here's a quote from the woke Rachel Rollins. Guns are deadly weapons. This is the same lady who wouldn't put criminals away, would let them just roam the street and get out. There are strict requirements regarding licensing for and registering of firearms. We believe Mr. Augusto not only unlawfully possessed numerous unregistered firearms, but also possessed a stockpile of machine guns and conversion devices that have the capability to rapidly cause death and destruction. The illegal possession of firearms and, moreover, machine guns greatly threaten the safety of our communities. Gun laws are in place for a reason. Control. The conduct alleged here is very serious. My office will continue to work with our law enforcement partners to identify and prosecute individuals who try to bring deadly weapons into our communities. Now, when Rachel Rollins was running for district attorney, there was a list of crimes that she would not prosecute if she was elected and she got in and I did a video on that. I'll try to find it and pin it above, but some of the charges that she wouldn't charge people for, like shoplifting, uh, like for somebody break, broken into your house because they were hungry or cold or, or, or needed to get away from the elements, they would, she wouldn't charge them. It's like, just go in, you know, and get, get, get shot, but that's okay. We'll charge the good guys, but not you. So woke. Back to this uh, announcement here. Here's a quote from uh, James Ferguson, who's the uh, special agent in charge of the Bureau of ATF in, uh, in Boston. And he said, The unlawful possession of unregistered machine guns is a federal crime that ATF takes very seriously as it threatens the safety of our communities. ATF has had a long and productive relationship with our local, state, and federal law enforcement partners in combating violent crime and stopping the unlawful possession of firearms that are not legally registered. Now here is the list of firearms. So according to the indictment on February 23, 2022, Augusto unlawfully possessed multiple unregistered firearms, magazines, and silencers, including more than 40 conversion devices and forced reset triggers that are classified as machine guns under federal law. Specifically, Augusto allegedly possessed one PTR 9mm, 
with one magazine and an altered HK MP5 type machine gun trigger housing installed. 38 Glock switches, which they're calling Glock machine gun conversion devices bearing a counterfeit Glock logo. Three rare breed FRT-15 force reset triggers designed to allow drop-in installation into AR-15 type firearms with no serial number. One Tommy Trigger FRT-15. One Imperial Arms 5.7. One PTR 9mm with a collapsible shoulder stock. Thread protector. Electronic sight and forward grip with one magazine. One SIG MPX-9 with an electronic sight, a forward grip, and a maximum defense collapsible shoulder stock. One Intertech Tech 9 with a secondary forward grip and a synthetic sling. And two black firearm silencers with no markings. It is further alleged that on February 23rd, Augusto falsely stated to federal agents that all of the firearms in his residence belonged to his son and his girlfriend and that he never asked his son or girlfriend to purchase firearms. The charge of unlawful possession of machine guns provides for a sentence of up to 10 years in prison, up to three years of supervised release, and a fine of up to $250,000. The charges of unlawful possession of unregistered firearms each provide for a sentence of up to 10 years in prison, three years of supervised release, and a quarter million fine, and forfeiture of the illegally possessed firearms. The charge of making false statements to federal agents provides for a sentence of up to five years in prison, three years of supervised release, and a fine of a quarter million dollars. Sentences are imposed by a federal district court judge based upon the U.S. sentencing guidelines, blah, 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 blah. So all in, he's looking at 75 years in prison and $2 million in fines plus forfeiture of these illegally possessed firearms. The right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Now, he does have some issues where he's with the uh, Glock switches and the unserialized cans and stuff like that that he's going to have to deal with. But the reason I'm bringing this to you is because this is the first time in the country's history where a, a forced reset trigger is being charged as possessing a machine gun. And that is no bueno. I, it's no bueno at all. The, the lawsuit is still ongoing. The uh, Rare Breed Triggers lawsuit, I believe their next court date, or the filing date deadline, is tomorrow, Monday, August 8th. I did reach out to Lawrence DeMonico via text. Haven't heard back yet. I'm sure he's very, very busy right now with uh, all this going on and the, the deadline Monday, tomorrow. Uh, but if I do hear back from him, I will let you know. This is terrible. This is horrible. This is illegal because... FRT-15 triggers, force reset triggers of any make, any model, any name, do not meet the definition of machine gun. I'll have a link down below to uh, some of this information if you want to take a peek at it. But uh, just just be aware that the federal government, they're going to keep being tyrannical, going to keep being tyrannical until they're stopped from being tyrannical. Till we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. If I get any more information from either Lawrence DeMonaco or my little birds, I will bring it to you. And uh, remember, guys and gals, you and I have rights, and we have them for a reason. Take care.